Hello, um, I'm doing a review on a short story, and typically um, you won't usually see me reviewing short stories. Like, um, I read short stories a lot, but um, typically you'll never see me reviewing a short story because I don't really know why. It's just I've, um, I've always been more comfortable with reviewing novellas and novels. Um, I never really liked um, the idea of reviewing a short story, I guess because because of how short the story actually is. Um, you know, typically you would never see me reviewing short stories, but um, I decided to review this short story um, only because um, all this week I have been reviewing um, different things relating to Dracula. Like, I've reviewed the original book Dracula by Bram Stoker, then I've reviewed um, a few of the film adaptations of Dracula and a few movies which were inspired by by Dracula, so I decided to end this week off reviewing this short story because um, Dracula actually is in this short story I'm about to review. Now, the short story is titled Blood Sun by Richard Matheson, and I have it in this book right here. This is Nightmare at 20,000 Feet, and this is a collection of short stories by Richard Matheson, which were all originally published in different magazines, but um, now they're all put together in this collection. Um, and I'm, and this has some really cool stories in here, and Richard Matheson is one of my favorite writers, um, but the short story I'll be reviewing is Blood Sun, and really the only reason I'm reviewing it is because it relates to Dracula, and all this week I'm reviewing um, different incarnations of Dracula. So um, this review will be on the short story Blood Sun. Now, Blood Sun was um, originally published in a magazine called, um, hold on a second, uh, Um, it was originally published in a magazine called Imagination, and it was published in 1951, and it was originally published under the title Drink My Red Blood. Now, um, Blood Sun is about this kid who, um, he's about 12 years old, and he's this, like, really fucked up kid. Like, um, you know, he's a really weird kid, and what happens is one day he sees the movie Dracula, and and what happens is he then goes to the library and ends up stealing a copy of the book Dracula by Bram Stoker and he reads this and then he rereads it and he like um he continuously rereads this book and he becomes absolutely obsessed with Dracula and um you know and basically this kid um eventually he goes to the zoo and he sees this vampire bat in a cage at the zoo and and he actually starts to believe that um, this vampire bat is actually Count Dracula in the form of a bat and um, yo and this kid actually starts to believe that he is the son of Dracula um, yo know, so um now the pa now the short story is literally only 10 pages long so I don't want to give too much else away about this but let's just say that Dracula does make an appearance in this short story story, but, um, like, he appears at the end, but you're not really supposed to know if it's Dracula, if it really is Dracula or not. It's more up for the, um, it's more left open for the reader's interpretation. Um, like, the short story has a very kind of ambiguous ending, which, um, a lot of Richard Matheson's short stories are like that, but, um, yeah, I just wanted to review this short story, um, only because, like, it's relating to Dracula and all this week I've been reviewing different things which were inspired by Dracula. So, um, yeah, if you get this collection, I definitely recommend reading the short story Blood Sun, and bye.